Hello everyone, welcome to Geometry Nodes in 3.0. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make this proximity grid effect. So to start out, let's make a nice, nice fresh scene and add in a plane. And then let's make a geometry node, use a mesh primitive, which is a grid. Let's plug in the grid to right there. Uh, make the size about 10. That seems... Yeah, that seems pretty good. And set the vertices to, I don't know, something like 20. Okay, what we want to do next is instance an object on these points. So go into Instances and select Instance on Points. For the object, let's go and make a cube. Bring it over here, move it down so that the top is even. And now drag that into our geometry node group. Put it into the instance thing. And let's resize the cube so that it fits into our grid system. There we go, that's very nice. Let's throw on a bevel modifier just to make it look a bit prettier. There we go. And good, now we could start making the proximity effect. So to start out, let's add in our proximity object. We'll have this be the monkey. And add a subdivision surface modifier just to make it look a bit smoother. Set that to two. Okay, now what we can do is drag in the monkey into our scene, set it to relative, and add in a geometry proximity modifier. Hook that into there. And what this will do will give us the proximity and position, but we don't need that right now, to the monkey. So now to make the proximity affect this grid, let's go and add in a set position node and now we could get to offsetting the position. So let's go into here, add in a vector math node, set it to multiply, add this to be negative one, hook the distance up into there and that into there. And there we go. Now the proximity is affecting this, but we want to control the range. So to do that, simply add in an input or utilities map range. Put that there, set it to smoother step. Let's have the distance to two, and now move this so that it's like negative two, negative three. Yeah, that seems about right. And now as we move the monkey, boom, we have it working. And we could customize this. We could add in way more vertices to our grid. Scale this down a bit more, whatever you want affect the proximity, the fall off effect, all that good stuff. So now let's get into shading a bit. As we saw in the previous thing, that the height would change the color of these pillars. So to do that, we want to add in a new shader to our pillar right here, right there, go into the shader editor. And what we want to do next is add in an input geometry. And what we want to do next is add in a separate XYZ node, put that at the position into the input there. And as we could see right here, if we move this up a bit, we could see that the height is affecting it. But what we need again is another map range node because these cubes go into the negative, which we cannot see. So for that, go into converter, go into map range, and have the max to yeah, negative five seems about right. Add that in, add a color ramp. Let's set the color to the principled BSDF output. And let's set the bottom color to orange. So yeah, that should be pretty much it. If you like what you see here and want to support the channel, uh, subscribe, look at my Gumroad and Twitter accounts, and I will see you in the next tutorial.